Hello, hello, hello. Thank you all so much for being with me today. I am going to be discussing with you guys today how to manage your Google business profile. So I had a live session that was supposed to be for Friday, um, September 25th, but I had emergency. Um, please forgive me, you guys. Uh, we will do our live session again Monday, but I still wanted to do a small recording so that we could just get this out to our agents for any kind of help. And so you guys, if you would like to attend that live session, just hop on on Monday, uh, September 28th, and we will have this live session. All right, everybody. So getting started, managing Google business profile. Managing your Google business profile effectively can help boost your online presence and engage with your customer. So here, you guys, I've put together a few tips and tricks that's going to help boost your Google profile and bring you to the top. All right, everybody, going on to our next. So this session is for agents that have already registered their business on Google. And this just goes into detail more about how to make your profile stand out. OK, um, so first, guys, let me show you. Let me go on over to our Google. All right, y'all, so this is my Google business profile. Um, when you register for your Google account, your Google business, OK, you'll have an email that you're in. OK, so just make sure that you can switch to whatever email that you have registered your account under. Um, if you log into Google from a different email, just switch it over, right? And go back to the account that you registered with, okay? So guys, this is what um, your profile is going to look at once you have your business verified on Google. So we used to be able to do edits to our Google profile through the um, Google business app. I believe that's what it was, but the app has been obsolete for probably a year now. So we just do our edits from the search or even the maps section. So for me, doing it from the search is the easiest. All right, guys, so keeping your information accurate, okay? Ensure that your business name your address and phone number and any of your other details are up to date and accurate, right? If you need to edit any of your profile details, right, your business name, your phone number, those do take time to edit, right? So once you put those edit in, Google will send you a little message telling you that it takes 10 minutes one hour, however long it takes for them to review your edits before they actually go live. All right, guys. So for me, if I want to edit my business information, right, we're just going to click on edit profile, right? And this is all of the areas you can edit your information, right? Edit your business name, your category, um, your description, the opening date, the contact information, the website, um, and also my location. I do have my location on there and our service area, business hours, um, and any other uh, special online services. So my online services are set for 24 hours, but my main business hours are 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right. So anyone that reaches out to me online, of course, that's that 24 hour service. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm just going to scroll down so you could see some of the information that I have. I have um, identifies as women owned, of course, you guys, because I am a woman, <laughs> right? <laughs> but um, so any of this information, you guys are able to edit these details, okay? All right, we will come back into this and discuss this a little bit more, um, but let's go back into our slides. We will be switch swapping back and forth, okay, everybody? All right, so this, keep your business information accurate. Ensure your business name is up is accurate. Your address, your phone number, all of those details are up to date and accurate. All right, adding high quality photos. 
um, include clear and appealing photos of your business products and service. Visual, visuals can attract more potential customers. So these are some of the mock bookings and flyers that I've created over the last few months that I have been able to put onto Google, okay? Um, but before we go into the images that you can upload, let us go back onto our Google platform and let me show you some really cool things, okay? So when you guys are into your business information and you're editing your information, um, find ways that's going to make your business stick out, all right? So by that, I mean, look, let's check out our business category, okay? For my business category, I have travel agency, tour agency, and even sight season, sightseeing tour agency. So the primary business is going to be that travel agency. So these categories are just if someone goes to Google and they type in tour agencies in my local area, my business is going to pull up. If someone goes in my area and types in sightseeing tour agencies, right, my business is going to come up. Right? If somebody out of state, out of Mississippi, types in tour agencies, Louisiana, my business is going to come up. So those are just ways to get your business to populate onto Google even outside of that travel agency category, okay? All right, now our description. Our description, this is going to be the best spot for you to give the general public an idea of what your services are and what you offer, all right? That's pretty much a given as description. But make sure that your description is catchy. Um, make it stand out, okay? All right, let us go back onto our slides. All right, I just wanted to include those. All right, our photos, okay, including clear, appealing photos of your business and the services. Visuals can attract more customers, okay? So with our images, y'all, we have to be very careful about what we put on Google, right? Because if any of the images populate in Google Maps and search, Google will take those images down and we will not be able to use them. So I recommend either using photos from our vendor or using a third-party site like Canva or Ripple. Those have images on there that are free for us to use and that content that they have on Canva or even Ripple, um, that's content for Canva or Ripple. So you're not going to find that content on Google. So you're able to use that third-party those third-party images without being scared that Google's going to take you down. And guys, when I first started, I had a love-hate relationship with Google. I tried every other day to get images to go onto Google and they would take me down every time. So then I started going into our vendors. I started going into Canva um, and utilizing those third-party sites to create advertising. And since I've been doing those, that has they have not been taken down. Um, also, another way that I've been able to get mock bookings, um, photos onto Google is by using BranchUp. BranchUp has amazing material that BranchUp creates. So we're able to take the content that BranchUp puts on our page and put that also onto our Google. All right, y'all. Your description, write a compelling description. Craft a concise and engaging business description that highlights your unique offerings and value proposition. Um, so for me, you guys, I am certified in faith-based travel. Um, that is my niche. That is my calling. So that is one of the main things that I have in my description. Okay. So we have Vacations with Brittany. Welcome to Vacations with Brittany. As a certified faith-based travel specialist, I bring a unique perspective to the realm of exploration. From soul searching, or excuse me, from soul enriching Holy Land tours to illuminating church heritage tours, tranquil Bible land cruises to inspiring river and retreat cruises. I am your compass on the path to spiritual and cultural discovery, but our offerings don't end there. 
our portfolio encompasses a spectrum of experiences, including domestic tours, private tours, all-inclusive resorts. Um, you guys see, right? I've got pretty much everything that I can offer, and it's all meticulously designed to match my client's preference. That's the very last sentence, right? Embark on a journey with us where professionalism meets passion, and every detail is impeccably tailored to your vision. So that is the description that I have on my business, right? Because go into your Google business, get a compelling description, um, something that's going to really speak for you and for your business, okay? All right, guys, I know you've heard us all say collecting reviews, all right? Get those reviews, get those reviews. Um, Encourage satisfied customers to leave positive reviews and respond to the reviews when they relieve them. Guys, even those negative reviews, okay, respond to those reviews to show your commitment to customer satisfaction. Um, and post regularly. Share updates, promotions, and relevant content on your profile. This keeps your customers informed and also engaged, okay? So let us go back. All right, so here's our reviews, right? If we are looking to look at the reviews, read the reviews, and you'll have the option to comment on those reviews, okay? All right, um, posting regularly, sharing updates, promotions, and relevant content to your Google business profile. This keeps customers informed and engaged. So with our Google guys, we do have... Um, we can upload photos, okay? All right, we can upload updates, all right? This is where I like to go in and add in different offers or even events, okay? So if I'm creating a mock booking, um, I most likely put them in the offer section, all right? So this gives me the option to give more details, okay? So we have the offer title. Um, this offer section is really good for any promotion mock bookings that we're putting out onto the public. If you're not doing a promotion, just make sure that you put a date range within just a couple of days, okay? Um, you can put in your offer details. Um, and if you are using BranchUp to create content for your Google. You know how BranchUp will have those mini sites. Once you click on it, it'll take you to a mini site. You can actually copy that mini site link and you can put that into the link to redeem offer and it'll take them to that mini site. All right. I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll try to show you how to do that if we have the time. Okay. All right. So adding Post promotions to your page regularly is going to keep your customers informed. You can do that through the updates, and we also have the add photo, okay? So those two, updates and add photo. All right, using Google Post, use you, utilize Google Post to share time-sensitive information, events, or announcements directly to your profile. All right. Monitoring your Q&A. Keep an eye on the questions and answers section of your Google profile and provide accurate responses to your customer queries. So we will show you where that section is. All right. Here's our Q&A. I have no questions, but if you guys have questions, this is where your questions and answers section will be. All right, enable messaging. Enable messaging with your Google profile so customers can reach out to you directly with any questions or inquiries that they have. Okay. So enabling your messages. Okay. Here is your messaging. All right. Keep your customers up to date, all right? Um, you can turn on web notifications. I also have them turned on through my phone. So anytime I receive a message, I get it sent to my phone. All right, turn on web notification. No, no, 
excuse me, turn on web notifications for my desktop. I just did that. All right. And so there are your questions, um, your messages, excuse me. So if anybody has questions, you're able to answer those during your Q&A tab. It's so cool, guys. Google is amazing. Um, all right. Utilizing insights. This is really cool. I'm excited to go into this. Use the insights provided by Google to understand how customers are finding your business and what actions they are taking. All right. So. To get to that, oh, if I could just ever share. All right, here we go. I think we're sharing. All right. So we have our edit profile, read reviews, messages, add photo, right? Performance. Okay. So this is going to be my performance tab. All right. So I have 563 profile interactions from March until August, right? Any of the calls that I've received, I've received 16 calls, messages, zero messages. I don't collect bookings through Google. So, of course, Google's not going to give me any bookings right there, right? 208 people have asked for directions to my house, which is kind of crazy because we are home-based and I have it on my profile that I do not take in-person visits. I only do over the phone or online visits. All right, and website clicks. This shows how many times any of those people that were at my site went to my website. So from March until now, you can see 339 website clicks to my website. All right, and let me see, there's another section, I believe. Let me just check. I might have missed it. Okay, here we go. All right. So we, how have people discovered us? Okay. So people viewed my profile, right? They always do this little graph. The graph that has blue, 57% of people searched me on desktop, Google search. All right. 35% of people searched me, Google search from mobile. Right. And 70% of people searched me or 6%, excuse me, searched me from Google Maps on their phone. OK. Other ways that they have searched me. Um, this is what they have typed in in the Google search for me to actually come in. Right. So we have vacations with Brittany, vacations with Brittany Reviews, travel agent of Brittany Maxwell. Um, I have no idea who that is, but it's populating under me, too. But it is what it is. <laughs> Right. So this is just give you some information um, of, you know, about who is coming to your site uh, and kind of what. And how they looked up, looked you up. OK, um, I don't really have any messages. Let me see. Directions, website clicks. All right. That's about all that information right there, guys. Let's go back onto our slides. All right. Verify your listing. So once you get your business on Google, you'll have the option to do that verification process. OK, so that verification process is to prove that you are actually the ownership of that business. All right. Um, and you can see I have that little blue check. Right. That little blue check means that my business is verified right it makes our business more credible while it is on google all right and add attributes i do have a couple of these but they might not go into really what we do for our business okay um, unless you offer those in-person visits um that, you know, you might not add any attributes, but I'll show you. All right, so let's go to edit profile. And let me scroll down on our business information, all right? Okay, so our attributes are gonna be in this, in this area, right? So 
if we click on more, right, this gives us the option to let customers know more about your business by showing attributes on your business profile. So I have it as women owned, um, but any of these are going to be women owned, okay? Or um, any of, all, all of these are going to be your attributes, right? Your accessibility, are you wheelchair accessible? Do you have a um, wheelchair chair accessible reading room? Restroom, good gracious. <laughs> uh, so we have, these are just some of the attributes that you can add um, if they don't you know go inside go with your business of course you don't want to have to add this but you just go through see which ones um you know would work for you and just base it off of you know what works for you you guys want to be truthful whenever you're doing your attributes and anything else but adding attributes um if, especially if you do those in-person visits it's going to make your profile stand out all right all right, responding promptly. Aim to respond promptly to customer inquiries, reviews, and messages to show your commitment to excellent customer service. Um, so by this, guys, what we're saying is if someone reaches out to you through your Google profile, even if they call you, don't let days go by before you reach out to them, okay? Reach out to them as soon as you can. If you don't have the time, as soon as you see it, go ahead and send them an email and ask them when a good time to be to, to schedule a call. Um, just don't leave them hanging, okay? All right, updating your special hours. Keeping your business hours updated, especially during the holidays and special hours. So anytime during the holidays, um, Labor Day, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, most all national holidays, Google will give you a message and ask you if you are opened on these special days. I say yes, that updates my holiday hours. Um, and it also, if anyone tries to call me during the holidays, I'm available. It shows that I am available, all right? All right, interact with photos, respond to user uploaded photos of your business to foster that engagement. So if you have clients that have went on trips, um, ask them if they wouldn't mind uploading a photo to your business page. Um, you can respond to them. It gets content to your page and it also goes back to those reviews. If you have clients uploading images of their trips to your Google, other clients are going to see that right? And remember, you guys, your Google business profile is often the first impression customers get of your business online. So investing that time and effort into its management can have a positive impact on your reputation and also that visibility. All right, guys, so that was the end of our slides, but let's go back on to Google and let's just do a few things, okay? All right, so we're just going to scroll through a little bit. Um, all right, you guys can see it says my profile strength looks good, right? Um, turn more reviews, turn more views into customers, add an update, uh, view your 2023 record, add exterior photos, confirm your holiday hours, right? This is where you can confirm your holiday hours. All right, so my uh, holiday hours are good. All right, I wanna to touch base on this too, okay? Um, in your edit profile section, you have your service areas, okay? I do have areas outside of where I am located. I am located right outside Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But the reason I have these service areas added on here, Miami, Houston, Memphis, Paducah, Las Vegas, which Paducah is kind of like in the middle of nowhere, but that's where my family lives. So I wanted to include that also. This gives your page more reach. OK, so if I just clicked only Baton Rouge, Louisiana, that's where my search is going to end. Right. So I have my search for my business open for the whole entire United States. So if anybody in the country searches vacations with Brittany, they're going to be able to pull up 
my business, right? So if I had it just for the Louisiana area, if someone in Mississippi was searching my business, my business is not going to pull up, right? Because it's not pulling for their area. So that's why I have my service area for pretty much the entire United States, okay? I just wanted to add a couple of those in. Um, in our business hours, y'all, I if you're just getting started, I really do recommend you have them 24 hours um, out of the two and a half years that I've been doing this. I've never had someone call me uh, past 10 o'clock at night and no earlier than 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, so I could update my hours to 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., but I like the 6 to 10 or 6 to 6. Uh, but guys, if you're new, leave it as 24 hours, okay? Um, any special hours, um, my online service hours are open 24 hours a day. All right, and that just goes back through any of that business information, okay? All right, so let us exit out of that. All right, and our reviews, if you are looking to look at your reviews, all right, um, there are your reviews. Uh, your messages, we've been through that, your add photo section. All right. Let customers peek inside your business. Let customers uh, see your business identity when you post photos or reply to views or your cover photo. Do you want to change your cover photo? Right. Um, advertise. So I don't normally advertise with Google. All right. I'll have to do that later. Um, this want me to do the verification. That's okay, I'll do that later. Um, but let's go back onto our Google, you guys. All right. Let me get that screen share going because it exited out. All right, screen share. Okay. All right. All right. Um, edit services. If you're looking to edit your services, all right, this is the section that you can edit and you can also add more services. Okay. Um, and this is also where you can add your category for your business, tour agency, sightseeing tour agency, um, add more service. Like we can do uh, site city tours. Let me add a custom service. Faith-based travel. Right, save. And that just adds another service. Right. It says your edit is pending review. It can take up to one day for it to be published. All right. That's okay. I already knew that. All right. So I have women's retreats, all of that. Um, all I did was add that faith-based travel. All right. So you're able to update your services, um, your Q&As, add update, ask for reviews, advertise your performance, your photos. Okay. So if you want to add an update, you can either do it right here or you can do it right here. Okay. So to add an update, okay, so the only difference is, so if you click add an update from the little messaging, you'll have three different options. You'll have add update, add offer, or add an event, okay? But if you choose add an update from the slides, all right, it's just going to give you that update, all right? So if I want to add an update, um, I can, all right? Let me grab something from Branch Up. And we'll put that on real fast, okay? Um, let me just showing you how fast, how easy it is to get that information onto um, Google. So give me one second. I'll show you. I'll share with you once I get Branch Up pulled up, so you can see. All right. So this is my business on Facebook. All right, and this was posted from Branch Up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this image, right? Save image as, right? And let me copy this text right here, all right? Let me copy, all right? Now let's go back on to our tab, all right? And here's our description, all right? We just literally copy and pasted, guys. You see how easy that was? Copy and paste it, add a button. Let's do... Do call now. All right, there's my phone number, and let's add that photo that we just took from Branch Up. Right? All right, there's that photo, and here's a post. All right, done. It's being reviewed. If it isn't approved, I'll receive an email. I'm okay with that. 
what you guys seen how easy that was super fast super easy right okay so i was going to show you a mini site but i don't have to because here's one right here this is one i did um in july right this is from one of our cruise lines okay um it's an offer let's click view offer all right it says redeem online Right, we're going to click redeem online and that takes us to that mini site that branch up put together for us you know guys when branch up does those mini sites or those contents for our page at least one a day are those mini sites or one every other day are those mini sites i absolutely love these mini sites it's kind of like the mini site we received from disney but branch up does it for us and it has and it's more than just our cruise lines, right? We have our tours. There's so many different mini sites that um, Branch Up allows us to use. And I was just able to copy and paste this information and put it onto the platform so that any of my potential clients can see it, all right? If we go back, this is one I did on the 16th. Um, another one I did on the 16th. And let's see. Oh, goodness. We go from July until February. Definitely keep your deals up to date, okay? Um, we all have stuff to work on, guys, and I am the same, right? I have stuff to work on, too, right? So this is that mini site. Also, we can click Redeem Online, and it's going to pull up that mini site. And, and this is for G Adventures. And all I did, this is the photo that's on google and i just took some of the information off of that um so let me go back all right guys so that's just some of our updates where you're able to do updates um offers um create an offer let's see add a map to your website um get a custom email and even get more reviews um so with that, guys, just make sure that you're editing your profile to make your business stand out, give you that um, catchy description, um, fix up your business category so that it includes more of what you offer. Um, if you guys are into those wedding destinations or if you're into the sports travel, make sure you put that in the business category so that your business will stand out. All right. I um, mean, this is my website and just my location. Um, all right, guys, that's all, kind of all I wanted to go over today. Um, we will have our live session this coming up Monday. So feel free to hop on that live session, August um, 28th. Right? That way, if you guys have any questions, you're able to get any of your questions answered. All right. Um, so you guys, I hope that this, you know, will help you going into your Google business profile, and I hope that it helps you get your business profile to stand out. Um, so if you do have any questions after you watch this, you can feel free to reach out to me, uh, Brittany Maxwell, Platinum Consultant, Team Vision Quest. Um, if you need anything, definitely let me know. I would be more than willing to help you. You know, we don't know that you need help unless you ask, okay? All right, thank you all so much. I'm going to close out today's session. Again, we will have our live on Monday. Uh, please feel free to hop on. Um, all right, everybody, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you on that live session.